although uh, Premier Tobin is not here, um, I can report that this is a, a four-party, four-province agreement. A new three-year deal reached today in Charlottetown will give Nova Scotia an additional $4.9 million a year in Atlantic Lotto profits. The deal is retroactive to April 1st, 1999. But we have achieved the uh, profit sharing that uh, uh, we uh, were looking for as well. The premiers have agreed on a new formula that, according to New Brunswick Premier Bernard Lord, better reflects ticket sales in each province. We agreed on a new formula that best reflects the new reality. The, the important thing is that the impasse is resolved. But if Nova Scotia gets more, who will be getting less? Bernard Lord says New Brunswick will not be getting less of the profits. Ce sont les, les deux autres provinces qui effectivement vont recevoir moins. But he says PEI and Newfoundland will. With the new formula, we are, if you looked at it in a very negative sense, we would be uh, giving up uh, some dollars immediately. However, I really don't expect to lose any money for Prince Edward Island uh, for two reasons. One is that Atlantic Lottery will continue, and if it didn't, we wouldn't be getting any revenues. The premiers are also planning ways to avoid any future impasses. We are devising a dispute resolving mechanism so that in future we do not have to go to such extreme measures when in fact uh, a difference of opinion occurs uh, within Atlantic Lotto. The details of which still need to be worked out. Ricky Landry, CBC News, Charlottetown.